Hello gamers, this is Zane here and welcome to a tutorial on the fully filled scenario of Train Sim World 2. So to give you the short version of the story, I've finally figured out how to set up my locomotives for multiple running. So what we're going to do is have a look at the absolute bare minimum that you need to do to get them all working together to get your train up over the pass. What happens is if you just hook these two locomotives onto the end, although they can be used as pushing units, they're just sitting there dead on the end. The engines are on, but nothing's controlling them. They're not giving you any power. And you'll find it'll be a very slow trip up over the pass. And the last time I did it with only two locomotives, I got up onto the 1.9% grade and the train stalled. It was a real challenge to get the train that far. But with all four of them doing their job, it's a lot easier. So, locomotive four and locomotive two working from the front of the train are already set up in the game so that they operate as multiple units. So really what we need to do is just get straight into locomotive number three, hook them up, and then we'll go up to the front of the train and have a little bit of a fiddle with the radio. Alright, let's hop on board. So the game wants us to put in our reverser handle first. Uh, we'll flick on the generator field. Did it want lights? Uh, we'll get lights. And the valve to lead or dead. The cutoff valve is already set to freight. The automatic brake, we turn the handle all the way to release and we're ready to go
that we're on. Alright, so we'll just do exactly what the game asks us to do here. Turn off all the lights. And the reverser back to neutral. Uh, the valve goes back to trail 6 or 26. Cutoff valve needs to be in cutout. The automatic brake, the handle needs to be at full service, it's saying. Incidentally, it also works if you just have the handle off. And that's it. We're ready to go sit in the engineer's seat of the lead locomotive. It's a long walk up to the front, so if you hold your shift key, you'll go into a little bit of a jog. So it still takes a long time to get up the front, but it does help. So we'll see you up the front of the locomotive. Let's jump in. Okay, so the game wants us to chuck our reverser handle in. Uh, we'll turn on our brights. Generator field on. Gauge lights and ditch lights on. And our cutoff valve to freight. I'm going to turn that to lead or dead. And we'll chuck our automatic brake off. So, this is the most important bit to get our units running as multiple units. What you need to do is make sure that the radio is on. The radio switch is off, so we need to flick that breaker on. And we need to set our radio up to transmit. So all you do is to turn banking com on. And we're ready to go. Okay, and just to prove that all our mo locomotives are working, let's take a look at the rear of the train. So throttle off. And I can hear the engine settling down and throttle on. Beautiful. So our pusher units are responding to our radio. And that's it. That's how you do it with the bare minimum of um, flicking switches. We're off. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe, like, leave a comment below. 
and I shall see you in a future video.